how to create a live halftone effects that create black and white designs such as this in Photoshop. Key thing, smart objects and smart filters. Create a quick gradient. Simply go to the gradient tool, go for difference and use maybe rainbow design and radial. Just quickly create a design like that. Once you've got that, what you can do, you can turn it into a smart object. So layer menu and then go down to smart objects, convert to smart object. As a smart object, you can apply smart filters and they're live, you can change them at any point. So go to filter and down to pixelate and color halftone. Go for about 40. You want fairly reasonably sized ones. You don't want too big, don't want too small. So 40 is reasonable. And you've got that. Looks a bit messy at the moment. However, what you can do, you can apply it multiple times. So you can just go over to filter, color halftone, apply it. Now with smart fields, unfortunately, it comes up each time with the panel. However, just keep applying it, click OK, filter, color halftone, and you can see as you do that, you just get more and more white space here. So you've just got lovely white areas there, so just go another one. And you can see over here now in the layers, you've got quite a few entries. You can remove them at any point if you don't want them. What you can also do is you can add blurs, and that's super useful with black and white effects with the threshold. So go to filter, and go for blur and Gaussian blur. I'm just going to apply a nice Gaussian blur there and you can see uh, maybe not that. I'm just going to go about there. Just something more to work on with the threshold. Click OK. But also what you can do, apply others. So I'm going to quickly turn that off and then just go to filter and I'm going to go for another blur. So motion blur. Something like that. And you can change the angle. There. Click OK. And maybe another one. Let's just go for another one. Motion blur and filter and blur and radial blur. Click OK. And you can see you've got that effect there. And you've got these blurs which you can come back to. I'm just going to turn that off. I'm just going to go with the Gaussian blur at this point. The Gaussian blur is on. Now with that selected, that layer selected, you can go to image and go to adjustments and threshold. And you can just vary that. So you can see then, as you do that, you've got the change there, you can see the black and white, and you can create a variety of designs. So you just go there, more, less, maybe there. Also what you can do, you can turn it off. You can go down, Gaussian blur, turn the Gaussian blur off, go back to the threshold, and you get a nice uniform design very quickly and easy, just by going for a threshold about 121. Just set it to the middle, click OK. But you can also bring in Instead of uh, Gaussian Blur, you can go for Motion Blur. So set that on. You see the blur there. And of course you can always go back to the threshold. So double click that and just quickly change that. And you can vary that so you can see, click OK. Also if you decide, you know what, I don't want that one. I want the Radial Blur. So deselect that one and I can go for Radial Blur instead. Threshold, put that on and you can see the effect. And again, you can go and change the threshold. So double click there and run through and change settings. Click OK. And you can always go back to the radial blur if you don't want that setting. You think, you know what, that setting was too much or too little. So double click there. And of course, depending on the order, it will display a message. But you can say, you know what, I want to slightly less than that. So maybe five. So it's radial blur. And then you go back and you can see the effect there removes motion blur and you can combine them you can maybe have all foot up all three of them perfectly reasonable and the threshold you can keep changing that go back to the threshold setting and just change it double click again and vary it all editable and of course another thing you can do you can always go back to these color half tones if you want to remove them just remove one and that will change it slightly as well so that just remove that one or again just add it in and of course you've even got the added option if you want to try out various blending modes over here. So you just go through those as well. Just bring up the blending modes, double click on there, and you can then see a variety of different blend modes and run through those. Go for difference or whatever. Click OK, and then obviously maybe it's not going to be such a great result, but if you don't try, you will not find out. So threshold, you can change it, and you go the other way. Click OK. Hope you found this of interest. Thank you much.